<laughs> not to rail one in. He crushes lefties a little better than righties, so uh, we'll see if he can be as productive here. Still 96 power versus righties, and we're going to show his attributes after the gameplay. Woo. All right, 2-1 count. We're here in Fenway Park. Looks good. Ooh, 3-1. He's got to stay away. Him. They're staying away. I think we got the green light, oh, though. Yeah. What's your approach here, Lance? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go with the regular swing? Are you gonna go with the power swing? Uh, well, you know, in a three-one count, I like the power swing. Oh, hoo -hoo. Power swing. He's going to square. Let it loose. Oh, oh. right down the middle. The change up. Change of speed. And you can see we're very early, according to our feedback. There, it's an 87 mile per hour change up. And a 57 mile per hour hit speed off the bat. Arietta got away with that one. Oh, oh the sinker uh. got us. <laughs> so is that all the gameplay we'll show? That's all the gameplay we'll show. All right. Oh, Rizzo. So cool. Overalls aren't final. Overalls aren't final. <laughs> Everything's still in flux, don't worry. <laughs> but we got a lot more to talk about. We're not even halfway through all the content with DD Stream. Are we still taking any uh, giveaways here? We are uh -oh. about to give. They're, they're pointing we're at the about clock. To start the giveaways right now. Giveaways are going out now. They're going so out now. Giveaways. Guys, giveaways are going out. I reckon you'll get a private message in your Twitch chat, in your Twitch uh, direct message chat thing. So keep an eye out for that. If you win, that's what you're going to get. And these are for MLB The Show 17. So put them in a safe place, probably under your pillow, under your mattress. And when, when you get that uh, copy that you pre-ordered, put mm -hmm. that code in there, get a head start. Or if it's the game itself, you're set. That's right. Uh, so we're going to hop into a new feature here and, and talk a little bit about our event system, which is going to be tied into, like, why would I ever have that Roberto uh -huh. Alomar? Why would I care about that um, Bogart? Right. Bogart's right. the bronze. Right. Um, before we get there, a lot of questions about, like, these modes in particular. Uh, everything's still here. Yeah. We, we still have Conquest. We still have uh, Versus CPU. We still have extra yeah. innings. We still have some icy teams and extra innings. A lot of questions about Battle Royale. Mm -hmm. Still there. Mm -hmm. Still ready. Of course. So here we are with events. Uh, as you can see, the first event we're going to look at is called the Wild West. And this event is all about um, building a team with players who currently play for teams out on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. So as you can see there, we're teasing some of the rewards. So one of the rewards for doing well in this event is that Roberto Alomar that we looked at, right. of course. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there, what's that? That looks like a different version of Noah Syndergaard that we haven't shown yet. Uh, that's that's a right. Flashback. Ah. A little rookie Noah Syndergaard flashback. Ooh. So here's what the event looks like, right? So again, more details about what, what's going on with the event. Um, as you can see there, you can see that it's going to take 60 cumulative wins to get Alomar. Mm -hmm. Or a little 12 win streak will get you to Noah Syndergaard. So it's mm -hmm. kind of up to you. We've, we've gotten a lot of feedback over the last year about Battle Royale. And some people aren't the greatest at the game, right? So we mm -hmm. still have opportunities for you to get good rewards mm -hmm. this, right. this upcoming yeah. year. So those cumulative wins. Also, lots of people asking on Twitter, how could I play 69 inning games? That's a lot of time, man. I right. hope this event's going for a month or more. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> events will have uh, varying gameplay. So this event right here is all about three inning gameplay. So every event will be either three, six, or nine innings. Wow. So we're going to scale everything accordingly. Some events will be short, kind of like frenetic gameplay like Battle Royale. Some games will be the full nine inning standard baseball that you know awesome. and love. So we'll go in here. We're going to try and uh, build a team here for an event. Ooh. So these are, these are going to be cards that we have in our inventory that we've already collected on the marketplace, got in packs, exactly. or got after a game, right? Exactly. Not like Battle Royale where you're just given a certain Correct. amount to choose. It's from. all up to me to build up this collection so I can enter this event to try and get some of those sweet rewards. Great. So we were looking for West Coast teams. Additionally, lots of people were talking about, oh, am I going to have multiple teams? I'm going to have to be switching up my squad all right. the time with these guys. No. You, you, have a, you have a lineup dedicated to events. Um, so no switching teams and all that kind of right, work. So stuff. my ranked season lineup can stay the same. Yep. Got it. Absolutely. Awesome. So uh, as you see here, we're already pre-filtering everything, right? So all the cards that we're looking at here are only going to be on from teams that are out on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to sift through all your collections and figure out who's who and what's what. Additionally, in that top right corner there, this is the this is the key to events here, as, as uh, Ramon alluded to on Twitter. You can't just roll in here with a stacked team. Right. It's all about uh, making sure that your team's looking good, and, right. and we're controlling that. So there's a lot of there's gonna be a lot of team variety. Everybody just can't roll with Kershaw and Bumgarner, right. or maybe it. you can, but you're gonna have to make <laughs> some sacrifices somewhere else. Yep. People are also noticing the 90 diamond. We're gonna get to that in a little minute. That's in right. Another minute. We're gonna talk about that. That's right. So you know, 
I'm a Padres fan. I don't really like uh, Kershaw, so I'm going to bring in uh, <laughs> Iwakuma. That'll bring me down a little bit. So we're already down to an Man. 89 overall. I've got a few more points to work with here, So though. we're trying to get to that 87 overall, team overall, so in right. order to enter this event. That's right. So let's see. So I, yeah, I like this because I'm going to start looking for specialists, too, Nick. Exactly. Like, when I have to do an event, I'm exactly. looking for guys that either are platoon batters. Right. Like that Bogarts, right? right? Because now you got you've got a guy who specializes versus lefties, and you can you can think about doing those platoon type players, put them on the bench, make some uh, subs. Right. So management is it is it takes it takes management to another level here. That's right. So you know we're gonna have to figure this out. Ooh. Oh boy, another flashback. Some more surprises <laughs> here, huh? <laughs> All right, we'll get to those guys in a little. <laughs> Um, let's see. Ah, you know, to get underneath the threshold, I'm I'm gonna rely on Ken Griffey for this this event run. You know, I don't I don't you know, great player, Mike Trout. Right. But uh, I think we'll bring in someone else. You know, I'm gonna bring in bring up the player card just to make sure here. Well, it's Span, Jock Peterson. Yeah, you know, I think I'm just gonna make sure I have a uh, pinch runner for some tight games. Right. Jankowski has an Jankowski. 87 speed. Excellent. Choice. I like that. So we'll bring him in for Mike Trout here. And let's see. We'll bring him. Okay. So we're almost at that 87. The pinch runner didn't quite get us under. Yeah. And then let's go back. I'm going to bring in another homer pick. We're bringing in Will Myers. <laughs> Deal with Ooh, it. Ooh, <laughs> just <laughs> slipped under. And I see now the, the 88 of 87 just changed. So now we can enter our team into the event. So we'll do that here. And we're successfully entered. And as you can see here, uh, this is how our reward structure looks for these things. Um, so much like Battle Royale, you have two losses. Mm -hmm. once, you, once you've hit two losses, you get booted from the event. But it's just up to you. You can re-enter, retool your team a little bit. You know, yeah. maybe, the, maybe, that pin, maybe that Jankowski decision is going <laughs> to come back and bite me, right? <laughs> Might want to shift the lineup a little bit. Uh, but you'll see all your rewards here that you get for the current streaks and then the big, long, cumulative rewards that you can just grind out through an, an entire event's lifespan. So streak rewards and cumulative rewards. Exactly. It's oh. basically Battle Royale rewards plus just win a lot of games. Do your thing. Very cool. And we saw it was the Alomar and Syndergaard in this example. So we'll always have exclusive rewards just for events. Yep. That's awesome. Exactly. Very cool. So are we okay on the giveaways? Yeah, where are we at on the giveaway? Still giving things out? So, so you're, so you're still like getting still whispers on the out, Twitch uh, chat. Yeah, so we had 14 different things to give away. Ooh. Still getting them out. Check your private chats. You can um, stop with the MVP 1997s, though. The, yeah, give, the giveaway period to enter is over. Yeah, it's over. Entry phase is over. Now we're just strictly giving them away. Okay. Ooh, marketplace. So we're going back into the marketplace we'll to show some guys? Yeah, let's go to the marketplace, and we'll talk a little bit more about the filters. We'll talk a little bit more about the uh, the new icons that we kind of briefly looked at. But, yeah, let's go to Boston. Okay. And I want to look at a legend that I think our guy Ramon may have uh, may have leaked. Uh, no, earlier. really? No, he – it's all right. It was planned. Johnny Ooh. Damon is in MLB The Show 17. Look at that. And not only is it any Johnny Damon, to start it off, we wanted to show you a postseason – Johnny Damon. Let's bring up the attributes. Let's bring up the attributes. And here's why this wow. guy is special. Yeah, you may remember the year was 2004. Wow. The game, seven of the American League Championship Series. <laughs> oh, boy. He had a grand slam. That wasn't all. He had six RBIs. That wasn't all. He had another home run. So he had two home runs, six RBIs in game seven of the ALCS in 04. Clutch. No surprise. Contact, power versus righties, are monsters. Uh, he's fantastic all around. This is a 77 speed, 70 fielding. Love it. So you see the postseason icon up there, 04, gold 88, lefty. Love Good it. Good card. It's going to kill righties. A great card. Excited. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at Syndergaard. So if you get me to the Mets flashback. Let me get to the Mets Ooh. flashback. So look how easy it is to just find the guys you want. You can find. It's great. I, we love this. So you see the Ooh. flashback icon next to the Cindy. Ooh. Let's go take a look at Thor. 87 overall. This is his rookie year from 15. Mm -hmm. uh, fireball. Fireball. Mm -hmm. Absolute fireball. 99 right. velocity. 99 velocity. Throwing so heat. <laughs> I pitched with him uh, right before the stream. Took a look at him. Tops out. Easy 100 miles an hour. Really? Easy with that fastball. Oh, 100. Boy. Sinker, 97. Right around there. Slider, 89. 
Circle change 88 and the curve at 82. He's filthy, as you'd expect. Um, but he had like 10 strikeouts per nine this year. No surprise that we gave him a high gold rating. Very cool. Yeah. All right, next one. Do we look at the standings? We haven't looked at standings. We, we hit with them. Yeah, so Marlins. Flashback. Should be right there. Yeah. So here he is, the 2014 oh Giancarlo All-Star. 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 All wow. Yep. There's uh, it. Th that power. <laughs> <laughs> right. The right. challenge with Stan, yeah, yeah. everyone points out, is going to be that vision. Exactly. That, yeah. this, so he's taking big cuts. He, he's going to have less of a chance to foul a ball off, but obviously you, you get a hold of it. It's going to travel. Yeah. Actually, still the. And you were right, 240 pounds. 240 right. pounds, solid muscle. 6'6, 240. That's just the six, type of guy six. Steven is. He just memorizes <laughs> people's weights in his free time. <laughs> California born native, too. Didn't realize yeah. that. Interesting. Cali. So you may be wondering all right, well, these cool cards are cool. Where do I get them? How do I get them? What's right. going to be different about the ways you guys are going to challenge me and the missions, maybe? So you want to take a look oh. at our new missions? A little Missions 2.0 action, huh? So the menus have changed, but we hope this is better than ever, right? So you go into the collect screen, and then we go into missions. And we'll have franchise missions this year, but all we're going to focus on is Diamond Dynasty. Okay. So Lance, you want to walk us through? Woo! Lots of new categories of missions. Nice. Uh, so we have some starter missions. These are for just to get you, get you in gear for mm -hmm. when you first get started playing. Um, as many of you remember, we have collect missions. New to this year, time-limited missions. You want to go into a little detail about that? We'll show one in okay, a little bit. Cool. Yeah. We got exchange missions, um, and I think we got some other secrets. Are we going to reveal? You want me to reveal? Let's hold off. Okay. Let's, <laughs> okay. let's let's focus on a few of these. So, like, let's start with collect. You guys are familiar right. with collect. You remember last year, the way you would collect, you would have a pop-up come up here as soon as That's you right. hit X. Well, first of all, the biggest change: new art here, and we've changed the way the collection system works. Mm -hmm. So we'll go in here. What are we trying to get? We've got to get some uh, Griffey equipment here, right? A couple right. pieces of Griffey. Right, so it we'll says. Go in. And so set of a weird pop-up that doesn't show you what you need. Instead, we get, wait for it. Ooh. Look at this. Yeah, you're already, you're already three-fourths of the way there. You got three of the four things collected, man. That's right. And what? the cool part about this, you know exactly what's going to get collected. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. doubt about it. And I don't have these cleats, no. man. It's gonna be pretty tough to go buy those cleats, right? Those, right. those might be wrong. Have to, nope. oh. <laughs> we'll just go into the marketplace real quick. Hop in here. We'll buy these cleats. Ooh, 5,500 5, stubs. 5,500. Yeah. What kind, of, what kind of cleats are these, by the way? Ooh, Air, Air Griffey. Griffey. Air Griffey. Hey now. <laughs> Some throwbacks. Ten power, 24. five count, ten. ten speed. Yikes. It's a flashback cleat. Uh, yeah, everybody knows these. Cleats are lit. I'm being told by chat. <laughs> yeah. Cleats are lit. So we'll buy these. And when we hop back in here. You just back right Oops. out in the collection. Oh. And you can see we're four for 100%. Bada bing. We're still not done though, right? Yeah, we'll collect these, we'll I guess, collection. right? I mean, <laughs> Why might not? as well. We're here. All right, so we advanced Collected the them. And this is what you'll see when you advance. That's there right. We got it unlocked, a, ready to be redeemed. Should we redeem it? I would yeah, like to redeem it. I mean, I, I want would, the I would like to redeem it. Tickets, yeah. stubs, XP. Yeah, yeah. And, and a pack. Mask. That's our I'm ready. That's our standard pack right there. Woo! There it is, and it, <laughs> clear, it clearly shows. Sweet Yikes. little background. So things are different this year. Things are different with the way we're doing collections. Absolutely. Yeah, we really focused on sort of making it easy for you guys to see exactly what's going to get collected because there's a lot of questions about what might be cell locked or whatever. Right. And then a quick and easy way to buy the stuff that you do need to submit to the collection. Right. Well, let's take a look at one of the other new um, categories we have. Okay. Time limited. This sounds pretty exciting. It says these missions won't be around forever. Better get on them. Better get right. to work, huh? Oh, we're here. So what one do we want to look let's at Let's look here? at the hit for the cycle one here. Oh, boy. 22 hours, 46 minutes, and oh, counting. No. Oh, boy. I got to get out. <laughs> all right, so we got, we've got to break this down. There's so much going on here. First of all, the cycle. We can do a mission for the cycle now. Hit for the cycle. That's pretty cool. So it looks like we have a multi-stat mission for the very first time in MLB The Show. Yeah, new team. mission type. So not only is this a new category, not only does it have the timer on it, but the mission type is unique. We're looking for you to do a very specific task in game. Mm -hmm. Hit for the cycle. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have those four stats there, right? Because you need a double. You that's need right. a single, triple, home run. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and as you can see, some of these other missions here, well, some little secrets you got sitting There's here on screen, There's some secrets huh? here, yeah. You guys, uh, we shouldn't have showed you this Jackie, Jackie Robinson Day mission. 
But in 58 days, uh, you're the first to know that it'll be there. Yeah, there Oops. Preview. But also, you see, days. right under that word, hit for the cycle, it says Verse CPU. We heard you guys, you want more single player missions, not just Conquest. So we're going to make it interesting this year for a lot of you that love that single player. And for the ones that don't, just want to challenge, this will be one way to do it if you don't want to always play head to head. Very cool. Yeah. All right. What, what else do we look at? Do an exchange mission? Ooh. What is an exchange mission, Lance? You want to explain? So, uh, as the uh, little text there shows you, it's all about turning in some items mm -hmm. to get cooler items back. Mm -hmm. This is basically the gist of it. Um, we have we're gonna have lots of cool stuff in here for you. Right. And here's our first demo, just to show you guys yeah. what's going on here, right? So, uh, as you can see, this is all about exchanging five silver cleats to get a, a nice gold cleat from uh, Under Armour there. Yeah. So we'll hop in here. We'll look at our exchange items. So am I, am I going to have to dig through my inventory to find, like, do I have any of these? Or, oh, oh, I, what do you know? Pre-filtered. Pre Already got the cleats I need to give in. That's so now awesome. um, nice. I just got to pick, right? I got to submit five. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to submit in. No cleats. No okay. No equipment. So we're coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Submitting them. Get to mark in. each one you want to get rid of. All right. Another little reward there. There we go. Just like the others. Cool. Easy as that. Let's easy to find your stuff. Easy to submit it. No big deal. <laughs> All right. Exchange a little throwback in the chat to the recycler from years past. It's right. a little bit of a similar yeah. vibe. A little bit of a similar vibe to that. Give That's a little, right. get a little. Right. And this is one of those things when you have like 10 bats, you don't know what to do with other than quick sell them all at once. We're going to give you ways to kind of upgrade that. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is just the tip of the iceberg really when it comes to rewards this year. I think right. we really thought about you can do individual missions, focus on hitting for the cycle or turning some equipment in, but we wanted to redo that a bit. We wanted to give you a brand new experience. Right. Very cool. So this leads us into uh, something new for Diamond Dynasty this year. Right. Programs. 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 What are programs? Ooh. So programs, uh, it's really it's the stuff that's going to take you a little Ooh. bit of time to do. Right. And wow. Wow. As that. you can see here, programs are focused around players, so it's all about getting a specific smoke, player smoke and fog that's you know right. it's getting real smoking when, uh, when we're when we're bringing in the fog machine super smoky um and the cool thing about programs as we jump in here we know they're going to take you a long time to do but along the way we're going to reward you all the way through so as you complete missions here and you can see that some of these this one unlocks at 10 percent, this one unlocks Ooh. at 20 percent, etc as you complete missions for this program, your program is going to slowly progress towards 100% completion. Going meta. That's awesome. And I'll see that there right under the Griffey. I'll see the progress. Right. And again, these are just examples. We're not guaranteeing anything here. That's cool. Do you want to show another program? Yeah. Why don't we hop into this uh, rookie program rookie here? Program. Who is that on there? That's Chris Archer, Tampa Bay Rays starting pitcher. Woo. And so this is an example of what we are going to start the year with Chris Archer's rookie program along with that diamond program you saw. And so we're going to focus a lot of his missions on things that happened with Chris Archer in his career, focus on other rookies. How would we see, like, all right, well, where are the missions? You know, where are the missions? that? How do I unlock this stuff? Right. So with every program, you can uh, see all of the missions that are required to complete that program. And you can even see how much progress it's going to give you to mm -hmm. the program. Mm -hmm. So you can sort of strategize about what you want to do first or mm -hmm. what you might need to do later, whatever. Very cool. um, and as you can see here, all of these missions themed towards Archer, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so why don't we jump in here and look at one? And it's going to take us right to his mission screen. That's awesome. And so we have a, a mission screen dedicated to the Archer program. That's right. So you got a couple missions here. Uh, again, like Steven mentioned, we've got a couple missions about playing the computer. So this mm -hmm. one's about beating the Rays a couple times uh, with a difficulty modifier, which is interesting. Very cool. I like that. So we're going to be able to scale that difficulty, maybe give you some tough ones, give you some easy ones. Yep. That'd be awesome. Uh, ooh, tally a bunch of wins. All right. That's very cool. Wins. Yep, so look for any, but the key here is you got to use rookie starting mm. pitchers, right? So even though we may have a bronze, maybe even a common starting pitcher, um, if they are a rookie, that, those are the guys that are going to count towards this mission. <sighs> this one I like especially. We're going to be able to go back in time to historic dates and try to find incredible games these guys did. So in his rookie year, Chris Archer throws a shutout. Hey, let's make a mission for it. There you go. You know, and that's what we're looking for. We're going to ask you to do a complete game shutout or... Try to surrender fewer than two hits in this mission. Again, another multi-stat. It's one or the other. And, uh, and this one, you can see our icon there. That's a brand new icon on the top right. 
with the bats, that'll be our ranked season. So this mission you can only Ooh, accomplish again, against someone else, or another opponent online. Oh, boy. Yeah. And what and, do, yeah. yeah. Of course, lots of, lots of questions about Conquest and how Conquest missions are different and how this is going to be uh, dynamic, mm -hmm. as, as we've said. Um, we're going to have all kinds of new missions that are going to bring you back to that Conquest map. You're going to have to go back through, cycle through things. Uh, you, might, you might have a specific team to attack, much like in this case. You're going to have to go back down to Florida, mm -hmm. take over the Rays. That's cool. And, and we're not asking for the stronghold, just the territory they currently have in this example. Again, these are all examples, guys. But we will launch with the Chris Archer program and the Diamond program. Very cool. Very cool. No shortage of things to things to Actually, do. Actually, no, we show the Griffey. Moment. You want to show the Griffey in the, in the program? Oh, yeah, we can. So, Chat's asking for Griffey way down here. So there, oh, there is the Griffey at 100%. You got to finish this. Nick, how long would you say this kind of a program, all the missions, should last? A, a week? A I would hope longer. I mean, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, to get a 99, I'm looking, I'm looking to put some, some grind in on this guy. Uh -huh. So you tell me, Steven. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> Well, we'll have to figure all that stuff out, but definitely not a week or, or a month even, right? This will be fun, and I think what our plan is, I mean, to get that 99 Griffey, we're going we're gonna to have some fun with it. And so as you make progress in the Chris Archer program, right. you're going to make progress exactly. towards your Griffey, getting that MVP. We heard you like making progress, so <laughs> you'll be making progress while you're making progress. Make progress. And MLB the show, 17. Let's go forward. All right, cool. What do we got next? What do we got next? Well, we got uh, some changes to our universal profile. You want to talk about that? Oh, yeah. Profile changes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This kind of leads into this. That I know a lot of people have been asking questions. All right. Haven't seen the word captains anywhere. Uh-huh. That's right. Uh -oh. Yeah. Captains. What happened to captains? What happened to captains? Well, we still have tickets. We still have tickets. So this is our ticket counter now. Um, and this is where you spend your tickets <laughs> <laughs> on rewards. Um, so the big change here now is no captains, right? Um, so you're not picking a captain and leveling mm -hmm. that guy up. But as you guys can see, barely, just by the Show 17 logo in the bottom left corner, your universal profile is now dictating your level here. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's all correct. about profile level. Mm -hmm. if, uh, as you can see here, this guy unlocks at level 11. I'm only level 5. Can't right. buy him yet. Right. It's going to mm -hmm. be tough. Um, but as many of you are probably noticing here, there's some uh, different rarities going on here behind the scenes, yep. and that's because uh, our profile has multiple levels to it this year. <laughs> 400 levels. Oh what? my gosh. Profile has 400 levels. So what does bronze have, for instance? Here? So each uh, profile level, bronze, silver, uh -huh. gold, diamond, has 100 levels to it. And as you get it, once you get to uh, bronze level 100, you'll then roll into silver level one, so mm -hmm. on and so forth. Cool. Uh, and that's going to sort of control everything here in the ticket store for you and what you're controlling, so what you can buy. So it's not just about acquiring those tickets and tickets. We want to still level up. That's right. As you guys have seen through a lot, a lot of the rewards we've shown this far, tickets are going to be getting dispersed game-wide for mm -hmm. various things that you do. So it'll be interesting to see where they come out of. Some will come out of missions. Some will come out of ranked seasons, events. Post game drops. You never know where you might get some tickets. Yeah. Well, Nick, we've uh, we've had a good time with you. Hey, thanks, guys. It's been such an experience. <laughs> We're not leaving. Nick is though. Sorry, guys. We're gonna bring in a new Love face. You. So why don't you uh, do a little switcheroo do there? <sighs> and I think we want to show a few more flashbacks. If you wanna know, head to the market. The yeah, let's head to the okay. market. We're looking for a uh, Texas Ranger flashback specifically one with a mouthful of dirt on his card uh-oh i know this this one. is gonna be a good one this is one of my favorite cards in the game <laughs> and we're gonna bring a a teammate in here to help talk about nelson cruz who you're seeing here is an 85 gold so 85 is still a gold tier and we're gonna get into that as well what those tiers are now for rarity Ooh. And you can see here on the top right of his card, that series is a B, that breakout. So we're looking at a Nelson Cruz card who has success early in his career. That's right. Breakout from... So let's take a look at the stats as we welcome in Luis Martinez. Hey, guys. How's it going? One of our development teams, one of our live team members. So talk about Nelson Cruz. All right. Nelson Cruz. This is, uh, this is Texas Nelson Cruz uh, when he was... Uh, when he was doing the dance between uh, AAA and the, and the majors, he finally broke out in, uh, in uh, 2009. 33 bombs, 33 20, bombs. 20 steals. Yeah. So uh, he's got the power, he's got the speed. 
pretty good card. Nice arm, too. Nice arm, yeah. Nice I'd like to see a 99 diamond. Is that all right? Can we see a Braves flashback? Braves? Braves? Flashback. Bravos? Let's see the Bravos. I want to see a 99. Hey, yo. Whoa. Craig Kimbrell, 2012 All-Star, our new series. Awesome. This is the lowest, he had the lowest reliever FIP ever. Wow. In history. Wow. Ever in history. <laughs> and uh, you can see it in his per nines. I mean, uh, he's got 80, 81 plus in all the per nines. Uh, I actually played with him, uh, did a little scouting report. Uh, <laughs> What does he's he throw? Got, like, how hard and what does he throw? He throws a four-seamer, a two-seamer, as you can see, and a knuckle curve. For, the, the interesting thing is that uh, usually two-seamers are about one mile an hour, two mile an, mile, miles an hour uh, slower than the four-seamer. Not this, not this Craig Kimbrell. He throws his two-seamer at 99. Yeah, like, he tops out at 99. That's awesome. Knuckle curve is a nice tight curve at 84, 85 miles an hour. And with those per nines, they're not going to get many hits off of you. He was only 24 when he went to the All-Star game this year. So this is a cool card, a Braves throwback flashback to, uh, to, for Kimbrell. I think we have one more flashback, and then we're going to talk about the uh, rarities that Matt's going to show us in a little bit here. So let's talk about the last flashback for right now. We're going to look at a postseason Giants. Sorry, Lance. Postseason Giant. Oh, this is one we uh, yeah. somebody seen him. Someone's seen it. <laughs> Pablo Sandoval, Kung Fu Panda. From t 2012. What, wow. did he, what did he do in 12 that we give him these kind of ratings? Well, you see that 96 power versus righties. Why? Well, he hit three home runs off of righties <laughs> in game one of the World Series. In the World Series, huh? Yep. He was the MVP of the World Series, hit six home runs overall in the postseason, hit 500 in the World Series, bat 500. So uh, this, is a, this is a very, very strong hitting card. I mean a switch hitter too. Switch hitter. Switch hitter, that's, that's right. Lethal. We know we know you all love those switch hitters. <laughs> <laughs> right. And maybe we should talk about the overalls, the differences that we've changed this year. We know diamonds right. have changed a little. That's right. Uh, Matt. Pe we 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 teased this a few a few days ago, I think. Uh, yeah. some top top secret information. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, can we get that slide up? Yep. There so you go. here are the new thresholds for rarities in DD. So 90 and above now is diamond. That cr creates a nice clean break, mm -hmm. not the 93 from last year. Gold remains the sa same in 85. Silver goes up to 80. Bronze goes up to 70. And then common, uh, 0 to 69. So what this does is um, creates some nice clean breaks. Uh, the, 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 the drop rates are going to remain about mm -hmm. the same as last year. So don't worry about that. Some people are worried, is it going to be harder, easier to, to collect these, these cards? But remain mostly the same, but this, this, um, this was done to create some nice clean breaks. And then also, we, uh, we tweaked the overall formula a little bit. Um, we fixed some of the things that were kind of, you know, we, we, we were bothered by, like, say, uh, relievers and closers. I'm sure you noticed. Relievers and closers had a different formula. So then if, if a guy changed his role mid-season, mm -hmm. he would go up or down by a point, which uh, didn't really make sense to us in the end. Uh, we also fixed... Uh, Fielding for starting pitchers and relievers, it's not as, as important anymore. It really isn't. It's not a big part of their game. You never see war uh, calculated. You never see fielding involved in pitcher war. Uh, so, so we did some tweaks. We think it's a lot better. Also, last thing, we created some room at the very top. Uh, so we dropped pretty much everyone across the board so to create some, uh, some, some space between the very best players, the elite players in the game, Nice. and everyone else. So you can see, let's say, just an example, a guy who might have been a 99 rated player last year would now be a 96 or 97, so that now you can see, oh, the guys who are 99 right. this year are really That That 99s. MVP, Ken Griffey, is a legit 99. That's a legit 99, yeah. that's correct. Very cool. That's awesome. And I think what this also does for you guys that like to play the marketplace, looking for those roster updates that we put out every week, Look at these tight windows between the bronze, silver, and gold. You're talking about a 10-point difference, 11-point difference between that and diamond. I mean, think of all the volatility between the values of these cards, what they're worth, whether they can qualify for an event this week or next, if we have a silvers-only event, or a, you know, we're looking for those kind of players. You don't know. So I think that's also a really interesting kind of meta in there with our game this year on the marketplace. That's correct. And you can expect roster updates uh, like last year. Um, you know, they're, they're gonna, we're going to keep them coming, so yeah. uh, don't worry about that. Very cool. What else do you want to show us, Luis? Well, uh, let's, uh, I want to show you guys uh, 
I want to talk about something that happened earlier in the week. Right, right. Um, we all so, know about this. Uh, there was a lot of buzz about uh, this one player that was uh, that was teased, uh, or that actually appeared in some of the videos. Um, Rich Hill, right? Uh, Rich Hill. Everyone, everyone uh, saw that Rich Hill uh, was a 97. Um, well, everyone knows ratings aren't final. Ratings aren't so, final. Right. So we reevaluated uh, the roster, and we've got we've got close to very close, like I would say maybe 95 percent close to final ratings. Yeah. And Rich Hill actually came out to be a 99 rated player. He's a 99. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. In the middle, we've got. 99 Rich Hill. <laughs> on the left, we've got 97 Rich Hill from a couple of days ago. Right. <laughs> and then on the right, we've got the real Rich Hill, an 86 rated player. Nothing, not, not too shabby, but that's, that's the real Rich Hill. So we appreciate uh, you noticing. But yeah, Rich Hill is an 86, <laughs> not a 97. <laughs> that's great. That's awesome. All right. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at four positional groupings, and we're going to look at the top three players This is at each positional grouping. This is kind of a, a mini roster review. So these are Ooh. final overall ratings we're about to see. Yes, like I said, 95% 95. final. There might be small, very, very small tweaks, but this is, this is pretty much uh, what you're going to see day one for live series players. So what so position do you want to look at first? So let's look at the top three relievers, relievers. without making a uh, Distinction between closers and relievers. So these are right. three, top three closers and relievers. We've got Andrew Miller, top-rated reliever in the game. He's a 96-rated player. Wow. We all know about his dominant postseason. We don't know about his role. I mean, I don't know if... Have you talked to Terry Francona? Not yet. Lately? I'm no? waiting for his text back. All right. <laughs> we don't know if he's going to be deployed as a closer or a reliever, but for now, we have him at the, at the reliever slot. Cody Allen, of course, is uh -huh. the closer. Uh -huh. Top-rated reliever in the game. Uh, number two, Kenley Jansen. He's been doing it for a long time now. Probably got the best cutter uh, in the game, this side of maybe a, a certain retired Yankee. Uh, you know, he's, he's amazing. His per nines are amazing. And the third best reliever, Zach Britton, right? He had a .54 ERA last year, Right. So what's, what's holding Britton back from being on the top there? Right, so if Britton keeps up his 2015 and 16 uh, performance in 17, you can pretty much expect him to be uh, at the at least number two or, no, or number one. And, and that's because we're not looking at one year at a time with live series players like we would a flashback. That's correct. Uh, for live series players, we're looking at, a, at, a, at the last three years of performance. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. so, so that's why you don't see Zach Britton at the top, at the top with that .54 ERA. So two <laughs> lefties nice, yeah. and a righty. That's interesting for our top three relievers. Who's next uh, for right. kind of the positional groupings? We're going oh, to outfielders. No surprises <laughs> here. 99, Mike Trout. There was a little bit of an uproar with Mike Trout, too. He, he was a 94, I, I believe, uh, <laughs> <laughs> earlier. But uh, no, he's, he's a 99. Come on, what can you say about Mike Trout? He's uh, headed to, to being the best player ever if he keeps up this pace, or at least top three, top five. Mm -hmm. So not, nothing to say about Mike Trout. He does everything. Number two rated outfielder, Mookie Betts. Nice. Uh, in his, uh, in his just his second, first, second full season, he uh, basically uh, almost equaled Mike Trout's stats except for the walks. Uh, that's, that's the only, maybe, uh, the only area he might have some room to grow in. Uh, number three, Ioannis Cespedes at left field. That creates a nice, a, a nice little, so we're, we're looking at the top three outfielders and we have a center fielder, wow. right fielder, and left fielder. Nice. It's a nice little balance there. Right, and, and we're looking at a 90 to a 99 and there's only three of them. That's correct, that's, that's correct. Great. But that's where flashbacks come in. We're gonna have a lot of good players for you. Yes. Flashbacks and legends. That sounds awesome. All right, let's look at infielders now. No surprises. Yep, Jose Altuve. He's my size. I'll just stand up. <laughs> five, this is, I'm 5'7". I think Jose Altuve is 5'7", too. But this guy hits 24 bombs in a season. He steals bags. He does everything. He is amazing. He's got the 93 speed. And uh, he's, he's another guy. If he keeps up his power hitting from last year, right. I don't know where he's going to end up. He's going to be he's gonna be a 99. Right, if he we're keeps looking up at a 99. Yeah. Because really, last year was his first year with 20-plus with, with bombs. But we'll see. We'll see where, where he goes from here. Number two, Chris Bryant, last year's MVP, World Series winner. Uh, another guy that you can say, uh, you know, he might be at the top uh, if, he, if he keeps it up. Great start to his career. 
Uh, number three, we've got 2015, the 2015 M AL MVP, Josh Donaldson. He basically had a repeat performance of 2015. Right. He's, uh, he's up there at the top. That's, that's a heck of a group right there. That's and I'm right. sure there's some that's other right. good third baseman that we couldn't quite fit on this list. That's right. Well, there's two other I can yeah. think of. They're, they're right below. <laughs> they're right there. <laughs> they're right there. It's awesome. I think we have one more group to look at. One more grouping. Top three starting pitchers. We've got Kershaw in the middle at 99. We can basically talk about him in the same uh, in the same vein as, as Trout. You know, they're both headed to, to best ever status if they keep it up. Even in um, even in a in a in an injury shortened season, some people thought he might have won the he he should have won the Cy Young. Right. Uh, that's not a knock on on the actual <laughs> Cy Young winner, uh, Max Scherzer, but it's just you know Kershaw is just just that good. If you look at his per nines, he's got a 90, 93, 94, 93. Ooh. I mean, look at how much higher those per nines are than even the number two starting pitcher. He's just on another level. Scherzer, like I said, amazing too. Cy Young winner, he's number two. Chris Sale, number three, right. a lefty, uh, hard-throwing lefty. He's, uh, he's been remarkably consistent, durable. He's our number three guy. All right, so I, I got to ask, because we saw the two, best, two of the best relievers were lefties, two of the best starters are lefties. That's right. What does that mean for lefties this year in the game? Like, how should people be evaluating them when you've got a lot of right-handed uh, hitters that can crush lefties? Right. I mean, the the per nines for the for for pitchers are what's gonna that's mm -hmm. what's gonna what's gonna you know win out in the end. You know, right. you shouldn't you should even if you um, if you think well I'm gonna face a bunch of righties today, you shouldn't keep out your lefties just because of that because these these per nines are elite. Just like the just like the right-handers in in everyone's lineups right. are elite. These pitchers are elite as well, and, and that's, you know, mm -hmm. and, and they'll, they'll be equals there. So, um, and we're, we're also, I mean, that balance <laughs> might change too. Was that what you were going to say? Yeah, it might change. And I think something like an event where we do left-handed only players, whether exactly. it's hitters or right. pitchers, boy, you're going to want to have one of these right. elite lefties, whether they're the closers or the starters. Yeah, you're going to want them in your lineup. Plus, uh, we're creating a bunch of new legends and flashbacks right. that are going to be le big lefty hitters. You saw that Griffey. We already revealed uh, Jason Giambi. You know he's going to have great, great numbers. That's right. Uh, so, in fact, we'll take a look at some of the flashbacks and legends, uh, starting yeah. with the Giants' leg uh, flashback. Sorry, Giants' flashback. All right. We're back to the other one we didn't show. Yeah. Yeah. This is Hunter Pence, uh, 2013. He's one of those lefty killers that we were talking about. But uh, yeah, this was arguably his finest season. He uh, he's got the he's got the speed. He's got the power versus lefties. Great card. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's look at the uh, Lance. Let's look at Oakland. Third base. Where are we headed? Oakland third base. What flashback? Who, who could this be? Flashback. Oh. I think we just saw him as a live series. I think we know who. <laughs> That's right. We've got Josh Donaldson last year with Oakland. What? This was this was before he he had won the MVP with uh, with Toronto, but he was still a heck of a player. Right, he was an all-star. Yeah. yeah, he was an all-star, 99 power versus lefties, just not quite at the level that uh, that he got to with Toronto. That's awesome. Let's look at a postseason player, and I'm sure you're noticing we're, we're showing some postseason players. We, we had maybe, what was it, like six postseason players? Not a or lot seven? last year. Not, not a lot last year. We're adding a bunch, a bunch of new postseason players. Uh, let's go to the Cubs. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cubs postseason player from 2015. Who could this be? <laughs> Whoa! Yep. Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. He hit some bombs that, that postseason. Oh, 99 power? Let's talk about versus a righty righties. killer. Oh, Yikes. my goodness. 94 contact versus righties. He just, uh, I think he hit five bombs in t total that postseason. Uh, really, the only thing you're going to have to deal with him is, uh, you're going to have to think about with him is where are you going to put him on, in the field? Right. You're going to have to hide him. You're going to have to hide him. And, right. he, and like you said, he doesn't have the catcher. Uh, no position. catcher for this Schwarber because? He didn't play catcher that postseason. That's so right. He only played left and right. So We're so going deep, guys, not just stats. We're looking at right. positions when we talk about these flashbacks. So it'll be a lot of fun, which, you know, you never know where a starting pitcher could, could have pitched maybe in a postseason game, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. We saw that with Wainwright last year. That's, That's right. right. One more. We got one more. Let's go to the Dodgers. Oh, boy. Yep. Are you yep. guys ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> I saw some speculation yesterday about, about this card. People, Look at those yeah. contact and oh power. Oh, my God. I saw some debates about offensive war on Twitter, specifically <laughs> yeah. about this exactly. card. <laughs> exactly. 
Yeah, I mean, he hit 345 that year. He had 20 bombs in basically half a season. Uh, he put up five war, depending on which war you look at, five to six war in half a season. That's one of the best seasons ever. One of the best half right. seasons ever, I guess. Unreal. Yeah. Unreal kind of card. Yikes. That's, a, that's one of the best impact veterans in, in the game and one of the best cards in the game. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about making hitting attributes for a flashback. This is one of the best balanced power and contact guys we've that's ever right. created. Yeah, usually you see you see a, a weakness somewhere. Even with Ted Williams, you would see the weakness at power versus lefties or, 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 right. or somewhere. And that's a legend. This is that's, just a flashback. That's right. Yeah. So but, not all impact veterans are forty year old Wade Boggs. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you were if you were worried about uh, about that, yeah, not all impact veterans are, are, yeah. bron are bronze players. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Right. All right. What's next? I don't. I don't think we're gonna get too much into equipment today, guys. But we saw some of the cool missions we have around them. As far as we can build collections around them, a lot of new brands in the game. Um, but you'll see more of that in the future. Did we want to look at Inside Edge or yeah, Inside we'll, Edge? We'll yeah. We'll take a look at Inside Edge. We'll yeah, so yeah. it a little bit. But so you know. the interesting thing is, uh, with with the roster updates, you all know and love. I think you love. I mean, you critique them, but I think you, I think you love the roster updates. Uh, those roster updates are permanent, right? Right. Uh, so, so, but basically what, what we have with Inside Edge is day-to-day uh, -day, uh, right. adjustments. Just so, temporary little attributes, just for right. 24 hours. Temporary. So as we get, many people noticed this in some of our videos that came out, but uh, the yeah. speculation is correct. Uh, attributes from Inside Edge are only applied to hitters for the appropriate handedness of the pitcher That's they're facing. So Kipnis is going up against the righty today, so he's getting the plus tens in contact and power versus That's, a, that's a new wrinkle that, that you know, will make for, for some more even strategic, strategic uh, Absolutely. decisions. Absolutely. And as we saw earlier, there's a little empty screen, but uh, Inside Edge is giving us a ton of data look at showing. All that, look at all that text. <laughs> tons of info about why Kipnis has the rating he has today. Right. And that's a big jump, so let's take a look head to head against his foe today is Jake Arietta, who's no slouch of his own, but head to head. Two I mean, for three. Two for they three. They like that. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, additionally, I, I kind of like the verse other right-handers with high strikeout rates, right? So they're, they're sort of looking at Arietta in a structural way. What is Arietta really, right? He's a big, powerful right-hander who strikes guys out. Right. But Kipnis doesn't have issues with those kind of pitchers. Right. Another grouping is gr he's a, a righty who gets a lot of ground balls. So, so like Lance said, it's, it's grouping, sinker ballers, righties who, who, throw, who throw sinkers. So this is, this is great data, and we're pretty excited about, about having this. And... Uh, you know, just just having the, all this information just on your on the player card, just just ready, just ready for you, waiting. Yeah, yeah. and I like it even looks at the bullpen too, not just the you know the starter, oh, yeah. how he does there. That's another thing. That's like a big change. Down. Yeah, about halfway down there, you guys can see that Kipnis is rated mm -hmm. uh, versus a top tier bullpen, and they're they're considering uh, at the <laughs> postseason stage they were considering the Cubs as having a top tier bullpen, obviously with the likes of Chapman. Um, so it's sort of it's interesting because now the whole even the bullpen is getting impacted in the way that they rate players. So wow. lots of new wrinkles here. Additionally, can't show it to you today because we don't have 2017 season as it started, so we don't have data to show you right now. But guys like Mike Trout, mm -hmm. Chris Bryant, the Kershaws of the world, these guys aren't going to have five star matchup ratings every day anymore. Wow. So we're getting a lot of volatility in there. Mike Trout's going to have some bad games. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean. How many bad games. <laughs> you can, he, do, he doesn't really have bad games. No, no, just kidding. Uh, we had a question from yeah, the chat. Question. Vic was yelling, yelling at us to, uh, to answer this question. Is Create Player still in the game in DB? That's yes. where we're heading right now. Create Player is still in the game. Uh, as you can see right here, we have the start tab, and yeah. uh, there it is. Still yeah. there. Still there. Cool. What else do we have left? Well, I, I think we want to show a little bit more about what's coming up for our streams. And we want to show the schedule, what's coming up. The next one will be the little things on February 23rd. I'm going to go deep dive into all the little things that have changed from MLB to show 16 into MLB to show 17. There's a lot of cool stuff there. I feel like we're missing, we're forgetting one thing though to do. No, oh, I, I didn't forget. Mm. You didn't forget? <laughs> no, I didn't forget. I don't know if the chat forgot. <laughs> we were going to show. All right, guys. Have a good one. Hope.